<laughs> we just say we wake him up. <laughs> Why not? Moody Raja! After about three weeks of a bit of an off period, I'm back bringing you my review on Mooga Moody. So let's get into it. So we haven't seen a good superhero movie in Tamil cinema in quite some time. We're talking come to saw me. Yeah, it wasn't that good. But Miskin is really trying in this movie. So let me tell you a little bit about the plot. So when you first walk into the theater, what you will notice in this film is it's a very gripping story. At the beginning, I was very excited for what was going to happen next, but about 65% into the film, you know, it became a bit predictable. And then the ending, of course, it just built up to this final scene, and then it was over. I'm not sure I'm quite convinced it was the best route to go with this one. Miskin is a great writer and director, and he has had some great films in the past, such as Anjade. But you know, he did need to put some innovative flares into this one. When it comes to superhero movies, it takes something special to make it that memorable film that you always, you know, look back to and really appreciate. So let me rate the story for you. I'm going to give this 2.5 out of 5 stars. So now let's talk about the cast of this movie. As we all know, for any good superhero movie to succeed, there's really two main roles that matter. The hero, who in this instance is Jiva, and then the villain, Narain. Now they did a fairly good job, but before I talk about their roles, I also want to mention a new heroine to the screen. We have Pooja, and as the cop in this movie, we have Nasser. Jiva, typically being, I guess, known for his comedic roles in the past, really did a great job in this film. He was quite convincing when he needed to be, and you could tell he put some serious hours into training Kung Fu. Now let me show you what I saw. there was a bit of a weakness in the film was the villain role. Narain did play a good villain at the beginning of the movie, but as the film went on, I felt almost as if he wasn't the right person for the role. He was really trying to play, I guess, the almost psychotic, mental, in-your-face type bad guy, but at times it was almost came across fake to me, which sort of ruined the role. So the last time you heard me talk about Nasser was in my Sagani review, and let me tell you, he did a fantastic job in this role once again. If it wasn't for Jiva and Nasser bringing it home in this film, the casting would be fairly weak. But 
Having said that, because I did such a great job, I'm gonna give casting a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Miskin has brought Kay in for the musical composition of this film, and I do think that he did a fantastic job when it came to the background score. But let me just touch on the fight scenes. The energy was lacking there for me, which did translate poorly at the end of the show. To me, music is one of the most important elements to any film, and because the storyline was a bit weak in this movie, it really did have a gap to fill. Did Kay stand up to the test? I'm not sure he did, but on a whole, I am going to give the music composition a 3 out of 5 stars. When I watch a film, I'm always looking for consistency. So now let's talk about the cinematography by Satya. You know, it's a bit difficult to look at the movie on a whole and analyze which parts you liked and which parts you didn't from a cinematographer's standpoint. But I did think that there was some very, very excellent shots throughout this movie, and then there was some poor, sort of shaky moments for me. But if I'm looking at it on a whole, the quality was there. Sothea did a great job when he was filming the love scenes in landscape style. But we all know the most important part to any superhero movie is the fight scenes. And in terms of angles, lighting, and the realistic nature of each and every shot he captured, he was dead on. Unfortunately, there were some scenes that came across a bit grainy, the lighting wasn't quite dead on, and you know, the post-production, the value wasn't quite there for me. But all in all, if I'm looking at it on a whole, I'd say there just wasn't enough wow moments. So, having said that, I'm going to give the cinematography a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Miskin and his team are very brave to have taken on a superhero movie in the Tamil cinema world, especially after major releases such as Batman in Hollywood. Now, I do think they put in a very respectful effort and it is a movie you should probably go and check out. And remember, we have Batman, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and now we have Moogamoody. Moody. So, on a whole, let me rate this one for you. I'd give this a 3 out of 5 stars. And remember everyone, as always, this is Review Raja Certified. <laughs>《Weeks ago, I put a shout out on my Facebook page looking for a music director. I had an overwhelming response, and out of all the talented individuals that submitted their work to me, I ended up going with Udaya Bharthi. This guy is mad talented and has helped out on my last video's intro song, the Moogamoody music for this video, and has composed the track for my upcoming music video. Thanks for all your help, brother. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys because I can't do it without your support. And of course, check me out on Facebook, Review Raja, follow me on Twitter, Movie Review Raja, and now, announcing I am on Instagram, you can check out all my exclusive photos of behind the scenes footage of my upcoming videos as well as my current videos. Review Raja, that's where you can find me. Now what are you waiting for? Go and do it. <laughs> You got it, do it. <laughs>